أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Welcome to the video um, So today we are talking about shaytan as he's mentioned in the Quran So as you can see um, in this concordance that I build as I study the Quran there's a lot of mentions of uh, of shaitan only up to surat uh, the eighth surat of the quran right so there's all these mentions and there's i'm sure there's some before that i missed and so we're gonna discuss how allah talks about shaitan in the quran now remember shaitan is our enemy he is our greatest enemy he is the enemy behind any other human enemy that we have and so let's seek refuge from him a'udhu billahi minash shaitan rajim bismillah ar-rahman ar-rahim and look at these ayat in the quran إن يدعون من دونه إلا إن ثن وإن يدعون إلا شيطان مريد. okay. in not يدعون invoke من دونه from other than him إلا except إن ثن إن إن ثن female deities وإن يدعون and not do they invoke إلا except شيطان Marid, Shaitan and Marid, rebellious. Now, I'm sure if we had we had the previous ayat, we would have more context to interpret this. But obviously, there's someone Allah is sp speaking about who uh, makes dua or calls upon or invokes min dunihi other than Allah, uh, other than Him, except but and who they call upon are female deities in in Athan. And not yet runaha, and they do not invoke except shaitan maridan. Shaitan maridan, he's a rebel, shaitan marid. Uh, so, this there's an equivalence here, so they're not invoking except female deities, and they don't invoke except shaitan marid. So, the female deities that these people are invoking are named as shaitan and marid so there is some reality to these deities there's something behind the idols or behind the the myths of these female deities and the, those are the shaitan and marid so when they make dua to these female deities they're actually making dua to the shaitan that are rebellious okay so next ayah let's see how shaitan is used and obviously here, it, this word shaitan isn't being used to refer to iblis. It's being refers to lesser shayateen, like uh, uh, more uh, more shayateen. Okay. وَأُذِلْنَهُمْ And I will surely mislead them. وَلَا أُمَنِيَنَّهُمْ And surely arouse desire in them. وَلَا مُرَنَّهُمْ And surely I will ordain them. Fa فَعَلَى يُبَثِّكُنْ Surely they will cut off adana the ears, ul anami of the cattle. وَلَا أَمُرَنَّهُمْ And surely I will order them. فَالْيُغَيْرَنَا So they will surely charge خَلْقَ The creation of Allah. وَمَنْ يَتَخِذِّئُونَ Whoever takes الشَّيْطَانُ Shaitan وَلِيًا As a friend مِنْ دُونِ اللَّهِ other than Allah, besides Allah, فَقَدْ Then surely خَاسِرَ He has lot خُسْرَنًا مُبِينَ uh, خَسَّارَ That is clear. He has lost and he has lost uh, a loss that is clear, that is manifest. So this is Iblis speaking at the beginning of the ayat and he says Wa uzilannahum and I will surely mislead them وَلَا أُمَنِّيَنَّهُمْ and uh, this is from Tamanna, right? I will arouse their Tamanna, their desire. Wala Amur Nahumma, and I shall, and surely I will order them. Fala Yubati Kunna, so the, surely they will cut off Adana, the ears. So now he's saying, I will order them, and what will he order them? Fala Yubati Kunna, they will cut off Adana, the ears, Ul Anami, of the cattle. This is one of the hukums that Iblis will give us. And he's saying this at the beginning of history uh, when Allah is sending him out of uh, Jannah. وَأُلْ أَمْرُنَا هُمَّ And I will surely command them فَيُغَيِّرُونَ uh, And so they will surely change وَيُغَيِّرُونَ خَلْقَ The creation of Allah. They will change the fitrah, they will change the creation of Allah from the fitrah upon which it originally was. Waman 
whoever yattakhidhi takes us shaytanu shaytan waliyan takes shaytan as a wali now here you know up till here um shaytan is speaking uh, you know uh, he will make them make ghair the khalq of allah and then here is allah is starting to speak wa man yattakhidhi and whoever takes us shaytanu waliyan shaytan as a wali min dunillahi other than allah faqad then surely khasira khusaran mubinan surely they have lost a loss that is clear and manifest <clears throat> okay so that's pretty clear this is this shows us that you know if we take shaitan as a wali how immense and how clear the loss is uh to our life and to our eternal life if we do that right so we see how allah uses shaitan there uh, <clears throat> first shaitan is speaking and then when allah speaks he he clearly names shaitan and then allah continues to speak in the next ayah and he says ya iduhum he promises them and he's still speaking about shaitan allah is speaking about shaitan ya iduhum and he's speaking to us remember he, allah is speaking to us about shaitan so allah is the first person we are the second person and iblis is the third person ya iduhum he promises them wa yumannihim and arouses desire in them wama and not ya iduhum and he does not promise them us shaytana shaytan illa ghurur except deception now this this word ghurur is a very interesting word um what it it means is self delusion and it also means arrogance at the same time and those two things in english may not be connected but when you really get in touch with the experience uh the arabic the wisdom of the arabic is very clear this word ghurur is not takabbur takabbur is assuming your own greatness it's believing in your own greatness that is more the flavor of arrogance ghurur is when you lie to yourself and you deceive yourself and you expect other people to be deceived by your own deception of your own self so for example someone promises you fifteen thousand dollars or they promise you seventy five thousand dollars or something like that and they give you sixty and then they do a rule no i only promised you sixty or they give you the uh, they give you zero dollars and they say no i didn't promise you the 15th you know so when someone does that they're deluding themselves as to what the agreement was or what the promise was or what the expectation was or whatever they, they delude themselves you know into what believing what they want to happen is the thing that that is is supposed to happen and that will happen and they delude themselves into thinking that and this is garur garur this is self delusion right so so but then they expect other people they've deluded themselves they've lied to themselves but then they expect other people to also go along with that deception that the, that is garur right you idduhum wa yumannihum so he promises them and he arouses their desire and not he and he doesn't promise them shaitan illa gharur so what shaitan is promising is nothing but gharur shaitan has deceived himself right shaitan has deceived himself and then he is he is insisting on the frame of his own self delusion such that he, and he's making a promise to the people who are taking him as awliya he is making a promise to them from his self delusional frame and then if they go along with it then they are deluded by his own self delusion and that is what gharur is the iblis is in a self delusion and if he if uh, if the people who are taking him as an awliya do take him as an awliya and believe him then they will also commit a type of self delusion but one that is one step down in the chain they will be going along with the self delusion of iblis but in order to do that they will have to delude themselves so they themselves will also do gharur <clears throat> okay so the next ayat that mentions shaitan is uh 590 ya ayyuhalladhina amanu innama a'udhu billahi minash shaitanir rajeem bismillah arrahman arrahim ya ayyuhalladhina amanu innama ul khamru wa ul maisuru wa ul 
أنسابه وأقول أزلامه رتص من عاملة الشيطان فأجتذبوه لعلكم تفلحون يا أيها الذين آمنوا أو يو أو بليف إنما الخمر verily خمر which is uh, intoxicants or grape grape wine specifically or خمرو وأول ميسرو and the games of chance and gambling وأول أنسابو and sacrifice at altars uh, you know, sacrificing animals at altars for magical or occult or mythological rituals. Wa ul azlamu and the divining of arrows, the taking omens from arrows. Ritsun are are impurity. They're an abomination. They're impurity. They're disgusting. They're filthy. Ritsun is like filthy. It's repulsive. It's it's. It's it's uh it's sickly sweet rot rot smelling it's it's disgusting. Ritsun is impurity. Min amila. Uh, ritsun, and they are ritsun from this. So they are ritsun, but they are specific ritsun from min amali the work of shaitanu. It is from the work of shaitan. So all four of these things are impurities which are works of shaitan or works uh, from the works of shaitan and they are uh, and Allah is specifically addressing Ya Yuhalladin Amanu. So Allah is the first person and we are the second person. We are the person he is addressing. Ya Yuhalladina Amanu Innama Ul Khamru uh, so the first thing that is a ritz and is the uh, from the amal of shaitan is khamar the second one is ul maisaru gambling wa ul ansabu and sacrificing at the altars wa azlamu and taking omens or divining arrows are all impurities from the amal amal of shaitan fa'akhtazibuhu so avoid it فَأَخْتَزِبُهُ So avoid it. And this is a very interesting word. We'll look at it in a second. لَأَلَّكُمْ تُفْلِحُونَ So that you may be successful. So let's come back to this word. وَأَخْتَزِبُهُ لَأَلَّكُمْ تُفْلِحُونَ So avoid it so that you, you may be successful. So this is very interesting. Allah doesn't hear come out as like in the beginning of Surah An-Nur. Allah says, Surah An-Anzalnaha wa Faradnaha wa Anzalna fiha ayatum mubayyanatum la'allakum tadhakkurun. So he says clearly, we have made Surah An-Anzalnaha wa Faradnaha. This Surah we have sent down and we have made it farz. Right? We have made it obligatory. We have made the ayat within it obligatory. Uh, but here he's not saying halal or haram. He's not making something halal. He's not making something haram. Right? That's not the way he says it here. He may say it that way other places in the Quran. But here just look at the way he's saying it, which is very interesting. And we have to look at the other places, other uses this Quran. So avoid it. So it's, this is not saying don't ever in your life ever come close to it or do it. It's not saying in, in that manner. The Quran is not saying it. It's saying now it may be that this ayah is revealed at a point in the revelation in the Tanzil where you know maybe they're still in Makkah and these things are all around them. So all these things were around, all for drinking, gambling, um, sacrificing at altars and taking omens from arrows was all around in Makkah. But in Medina, because Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was the one who had Amr uh, in Medina, uh, those type of things weren't around. So this is like perhaps a Makki ayah at least, at least, right? But even if it's not, Allah is saying clearly, and this this is not uh, the Nasik or Mansuk, this is an ayat of the Quran. So the way he's saying, Allah is saying it, is still perfectly valid when it comes to these things. These things are around in society. Even in our society, there's alcohol, there's gambling, uh, there's this sacrificing at altars people who do magic this you know and magic maybe one or two percent of the population even in america is interested in it so this type of stuff is not 
completely rare it still exists um 